My already strong desire to plant an herb garden only increased when watching Outlander. So when I was finally able to plant my own herb garden, I had to pretend that I was Claire Frazier. It's actually happening. I am so, so, so excited to finally be planting my herb garden or my herb table, if you will. This was given to me as a wedding gift from my wonderful friend Brianna, who you know from the vlogs, and especially going to Renaissance Fairs. She is one of my, my bestest friends and bridesmaid and costume partner in crime extraordinaire, and she got me this wonderful herb table that I have now bought an herbs for. And it has these fun liners that go in each one. So now I need to fill these with dirt. So as I raced against the sun that was quickly setting, I filled my little black pocket with dirt, which is not necessarily exciting or glamorous, but an incredibly crucial part to this process. I then placed those little bags of dirt into the herb table. I had gotten my herb starts at the grocery store and also at Home Depot. Again, I'm not really one to start things from seeds. I just, I don't have the time or, or the desire. So I went and I bought these starts and I placed them in my table. I organized them thinking about which ones would be happy next to each other, which ones are going to be friends, and then I planted them. The first plant that I planted in my herb table was dill. Dill is mainly a culinary herb. Dill is known for its role in pickling. I think of dill in cucumber sandwiches, like those little tea sandwiches that I'm obsessed with. In Outlander, uh, Claire, of course, uses dill when she is pickling things to preserve them for the winter. And she also keeps it in her medicine chest because dill is a good source of vitamins. I also planted mint because I absolutely love mint. Mint tea is one of my favorites and it's so good for you. It's an anti-inflammatory and has a bunch of antioxidants. So love mint. Claire uses mint in a tea with lavender to, well, you know, help people go to sleep. I also planted basil, which is more of a kitchen herb. Basil is also just really good for you in general, and it's supposed to be a really easy herb to grow, and I did find it to be a very easy herb. I also planted catnip because the cats would not forgive me otherwise. I also planted chamomile because, again, tea and sleepy time tea. I also planted lemon balm because I love lemon balm tea and I got curled parsley because my grandma always used that when she was making dishes look fancy. I also got thyme because my husband is obsessed with that herb and will use it in almost every single dish. I then watered my herb garden in and watched it grow and grew it did to the point where I was a little concerned that it might not fit in the table anymore and I just absolutely love getting to go outside and snip some herbs and I will go back and use them in my kitchen I would make tea out of them I would dry them and it just made me so 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 happy I think my herbs probably grew as much or more than my vegetables So the mint got so big and wanted to take over everything because mint has a plan to dominate the world. And I'm, and I'm okay with that a little bit. Um, I'm okay with its tenacity and desire for growth because I also love mint and I was probably the herb I used the most. So I decided that I was going to give my mint plant a big big, big container to grow into because I want that whole thing filled with mint. Maybe next year it will happen. It's, it's literally the largest barrel that I have and I decided, yes, we should have mint in here. I also gave my basil a really big barrel. I gave lemon balm a smaller bucket and I gave the catnip a beautiful pot that my friend Jess gave me for my birthday. 
because we both love cats. So I figured the catnip should go in that one as well. Then the catnip, well, the cats wanted more, obviously. Yo-Yo really likes catnip. Lucky doesn't as much. She just kind of like rubs her face in it. Now it is the moment of truth. It is time to make the first cup of lemon balm tea. moment to prove the first cup of lemon balm tea from my garden. Ooh! Has quite the lemony taste, which is good for lemon balm. I think I could have even put a few more leaves in there for it to get a little stronger, but it definitely has flavor. I like my tea to be a bit strong though. like I made tea like like I, I grew the leaves myself and boiled the water and soaked them <laughs> tea is basically like leaf juice but it's really good leaf juice thank you so much for watching this video today I would love to know what some of your favorite herbs are or if you have any suggestions for herbs for me to grow next year I would love to hear about them down in the comments I really enjoyed getting to try my hand at growing herbs this year and next year I already have plans for so many more herbs. I want to plant them all. It might be a problem.